Fast 6 Weather is brought to you by Aztec Chevrolet in Beeville. Visit AzTecAutoplex.com. Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Our live sky cam. This happens to be from SPID showing a distant dying thunder shower. It'll be a quiet evening uh, once we get to sunset and then showers will rebuild near the coast overnight. All right, welcome back everyone. Here is a look at your Aztec Chevrolet forecast. Rain today at 1200s at Rockport, about 1400s in Alice, a tenth in Kingsville. But the rain is beginning to pick up out here to the west in Western Oasis County. It just changed in eastern parts of uh, Jim Wells County. And you can see that right here with these showers forming. We've got the upper level winds coming in from the west and low level winds from the south. So they're meeting right here and that's fired these thunder showers. Uh, this afternoon. Again, that'll be gone with daytime heating, but overall, it's pretty heavy activity that just moved through Kingsville, now in Bishop and on the way to Driscoll. And then we have activity up here around uh, north of Banchetti, out here on 359 in Orange Grove, and between Orange Grove and Escondidos right here. And uh, all that activity is moving very slowly to the north. So this is dumping some real heavy rain out here around FM 70 and FM 624. So that is a lot of rain coming down because it's not hardly moving. So some flash flooding going on there. Here's the 3D look at it. You can see how the uh, showers are collapsing as we go through time. This is uh, over a period of an hour. So you can see that uh, things are weakening out there and our short term forecast reflects that here in Corpus Christi. No rain, breezy conditions. That's why the showers are inland. As the winds come down on Saturday, a rainfall is really going to pick up. But 80s between now and midnight, very, very steamy here with all the uh, low level moisture from recent rains and are way above normal. Most of us have seen between 15 and 20 inches of rain in September. Some of us have had even more than that. All right, there's the uh, rain out to the west. Again, no harm, no foul in that region. We do have plenty of moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico at the low levels and this disturbance out here to the west. And that's going to rake across the area, destabilize the atmosphere, causing lift and additional activity over the weekend, primarily from looks like about midday on Saturday to uh, early on Sunday. Doesn't look like we'll see a lot of rain compared to last weekend, but there could be one to three inches overall. So there's the line of showers and thunder showers. This front associated with that activity will sag into Texas and then dissipate over the weekend, and then we'll return to less rainfall here by the time we get to Monday of next week. Here's the remnants of uh, Tropical Depression 19E out in the Pacific, and it's bringing all this moisture across Mexico in our direction. Not a lot to work with down in the Caribbean here, pretty quiet, and uh, that was what was left of Isaac a while back. A lot of people asking about Isaac, and Isaac is no more nor has been for several days now. Here's the uh, low pressure system that's going to destabilize the atmosphere while high pressure opens up the tropics, but there's nothing in the tropics that we need to worry about. Temperatures, it's 92 degrees in Chicago and 40 40 some degrees, 41 degrees, cooler than that up in Bismarck. There we go, 51. So if you can do math in your head, it's a big difference in temperatures, the bottom line. Some of that will get here by the end of next week. That'll be our first front of the season. Hallelujah. Isolated showers here tomorrow. Again, with a combination of the system working our way. And then as the front squeezes out the moisture and dies out up here to the north, our weekend looks wet with scattered to numerous showers. Here's the future tracker. And again, not much activity in the morning nor tomorrow afternoon. So we'll call it just isolated. Okay for Friday night football. But it really begins to pick up here on Saturday. Here's a look at your NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast. 79 tonight, 92 tomorrow. Isolated showers, 77 and 90 as fall begins on Saturday with scattered and numerous showers extending into Sunday with a high of 87. And then only isolated showers Monday through Thursday of next week. So looking pretty good. Unfortunately, Saturday and Saturday night look pretty wet here in the coastal vent. Lee, Jennifer. 